G'day there YouTube, welcome back to the channel everyone, happy Monday and congratulations to each and every one of you. Why you may ask? Because you've done it. Where many have tried and failed, you have found nothing but shining, glorious success. You found the champ dog. Happy Monday, haven't seen you guys since Friday, so uh, let's have a little, little sip together. Here's to you. Mm. Oh, you look, you look healthy already. Let me just, just one sec. Oh, wow. Oh, you're going to live forever at this rate. So we are jumping in back into the arena today, guys. I had already recorded an intro. I was planning to do some drafts today, but then uh, finally, after a four and a half gig update to arena, I was able to log in and I saw they had that cool uh, jump in event, which is basically jump start made from standard sets from what I can tell. I don't know why they didn't just want to call it jump start, but it's called jump in. So we're going to jump in to that. I had a little um, mishap recording as well. I picked my packs. I went in, I played a couple of games and then realized that my microphone hadn't been talking with OBS. So what you're going to see here are actually games three and four with the uh, packs that I chose. And we might put up games one and two just as a little uh, bonus feature at some point in the next couple of days. It still has game audio, just doesn't have microphones. So you'll just see a little picture of me down in the corner, my mouth moving as I'm trying to talk and just no words coming out. You know, like that nightmare you used to have a lot as a kid. But for now, we just have some regular games with a regular microphone input. So you shuffle up and I'll see you in the arena in a second. Okay, so I've already actually played a couple of games in this event. Um, unfortunately, my microphone wasn't talking to OBS at the time, so go figure. I might release those games as some bonus content, but we're going to jump in. We picked two packs, the Sacrifice pack that was mono black, and then the Zombie pack, which is black and blue. So and that's what we're running. It's felt pretty strong. It's been two fairly convincing wins, but yeah, this is this is pretty fun. It looks, uh, it looks dope, so we're going to jump in and do that. So we'll play a couple more games with this and then I'll probably um, change the packs and try with something new. Blossom's just over there having a little sook, aren't ya? It's been about 10 seconds each time to find a match, which is actually uh, quite good for me. <clears throat> uh, this hand is fairly mediocre, which is unfortunate. We had some really, um, really good hands before. This hand is better. So it's probably Awakener into Strangler. This is pretty tempting, but I don't have other zombies right now. So I think the Strangler might actually be better. And next turn, if I want, I can sacrifice it to the Awakener to turn it into a 4 4. Which is pretty decent. Mind Drain. Okay, so I think Maliki Rebirth. And um, I kind of hate this, but I think it's Warlock class. Mr. Land, that's uh, pretty unfortunate. Playing this first because um, it'll get buffed by the blade stitched scab if we want to attack through something. However, a uh, five toughness thing is pretty difficult for us to get through. So I have the option of eaten alive here.
but I kind of want to sacrifice the Strangler to the Awakener when I can. Okay, up against Clerics. Will they attack? I mean, it's a free attack for them if they want to take it. They choose not to. We'll get our Drain. Okay, found another land. Does this change anything on my end? Do I want to play Jeren? This isn't even sorcery speed. I can just do this whenever I want. That's cool. Yeah, maybe I just hold off on this. Shadow Wolf in the tank over there. Can't really complain. I'm playing, playing pretty slowly myself. I just sacrificed the token. No point sacrificing the Strangler because there's nothing to uh, put it on when it comes back. Get him for five. Seems good. Oh, they even sleeved up their deck. Dedication. Bye bye, Siege Zombie. What's the follow-up? Mm. There's a sparkling apple juice with mint. It's so rich and sugary. Just wanted some water to like get that coating off my teeth. Okay. That really took them a while, didn't it? Really took them a while. Um, the removal seems nice. But uh, with the current board state, honestly, I think I just take the flyer and just keep pushing damage. I mean, I'm well ahead on board. We've kind of uh, pulled even on cards. But, you know, opponent is just determined to uh, get their money's worth out of this event and just prolong the game time as much as they can. Come on, Shadow Wolf. Don't be salty, buddy. There you go. My prediction here is that they have nothing and still take ages. Oh my gosh, they didn't. Oh, and they said good game. Courteous in the end. Zombies. Zombie sacrifice undefeated so far. 4-0. Oh. This hand is kind of awkward. We're not doing anything. Pardon me. Until turn 3. And then again till turn 5. I think this is a mulligan. The deck is definitely capable of uh, better, better starts than this. This looks better.
This does more damage. So I think I'll lead on that. Okay. I assume they block here. I mean, I'm happy to just take the free damage. The uh, four, four toughness is actually kind of hard for us to get through. So I could use this and destroy it. But then I don't get the trigger off the enchantment. I'd rather keep this until later. Both Hobbling Zombie and the Novice Occultist combo pretty well with Eaten Alive. Sure. Oh, they're sleeved up as well. Did I miss the memo or something? Okay, draw some, draw some cards. They should attack with the Mistwalker here. Even though it's going to die anyway. Yep. One damage is all yours. Holding priority because they can. Opponents are all about that slow play now. Okay. That's fine. That's a bit of a wasted card. Play this tapped. Yeah, this opponent in our previous one playing a lot slower than the first couple games. Oh well, what does one do? Organ Hoarder, ah, oh, so good. So good. Come on, Cephas. You've got it in you. I believe in you. Ooh, Master of Winds. Found a land. I think I offer the trade here. They choose not to take it. Makes sense. Save this till they're a little tighter on resources, I think. I want another eaten alive. I mean, I have more removal, right? So I guess I take consumption. None of those were particularly good. Um, I used the eaten alive there just because power word kill is the better card. I'd rather save it. What you got, buddy? Shop. Sure. Stonework back based. So I guess they're on some kind of party situation. Come to sleep. Sure. Off of the trade. Get into their hand a bit. Really just to use our mana efficiently. Still better to save this until it can kill something. It's 
two burying books, okay. So do they have other removal to justify getting rid of that? Maybe they do. Chilling trap. I can't believe they just played that without a thing in play to uh, draw a card. Scry one. So if they block it, we play the cop purse to kill the seer. If not, we draw a card anyway off the opportunist. Might as well cast that. We can power word kill on our turn if we have to. Sure. anything I particularly want to get back right now. I think I just play out the horde. Choose up to two. I don't know if they have ways to uh, get things back or not. And now that I have another zombie on the battlefield that's not forced to be tapped, I'll get back the organ hoarder and put a counter on the horde. Seems good. No attacksies. Yeah. This combination feels uh, pretty synergistic. Okay, so they do get that back online. That's a little sad. They had a bunch of things. draw a card. Maybe kill some things, maybe not. Obviously Jaren's more powerful there, but I just kind of like holding this up to try and uh, ruin their next turn because we are doing pretty well on board. And I can use this if I don't end up countering something. Kill off the uh, hobbling zombie, cash it in for a token, and uh, turn my guy here into a 4-4. Seems good. But yeah, the, uh, the zombie and the sacrifice... Those two packs seem really synergistic because of the uh, decayed mechanic, just producing a bunch of little tokens that are expendable anyway. I should have counted that. I was uh, too busy commentating. Too busy commentating. So I attack with everything, I only get through for one. Yeah, they scoop anyway. I mean, yeah, it was looking pretty grim for them. All right, fun couple of games there. So this particular combination has actually felt really potent. Um, I think the zombie theme plays really well with the sacrifice theme because of the decayed mechanic, allowing them to cost the tokens more aggressively. So you have more token producers. You either produce more tokens or produce them more regularly. Um, and you always have a way for them to die. So some of those dies triggers are really easy to proc. You've always got some fodder to sacrifice for your sacrifice cards. 
So that actually felt really strong. So you saw games three and four there, which we won both of. We won games one and two as well. So that was four games undefeated with this particular combination of cards. From what I've seen so far, it kind of feels like one of the stronger combinations. Um, it definitely felt potent there. It's a little bit of a shame that those two opponents played a little slower than the ones in the first game and that, you know, that didn't quite work out. It would have been better to show you those games. But this is the world we live in. You will see those games real soon. And uh, tomorrow, in fact, I'll have some more of this jump in event with a different selection of packs that I recorded just after those ones. But for now, thanks for coming around. It's always lovely to see you. Let's have one last sip to you. Mm. All right. You stay brilliant, everyone, and I'll see you real soon.